Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. In this lesson, we'll take a look at two kinds of qualified indebtedness. Qualified real property business indebtedness and qualified principal residence indebtedness. Qualified real property business indebtedness is a provision that allows an individual to exclude qualified canceled debt from income. However, certain rules do apply. In order to qualify for real property business indebtedness, all of the following three conditions must be met. First, the debt must have been incurred in connection with real property used in the taxpayer's trade or business. Second, the loan must have been secured with the property. Third, the amount of the canceled debt to be excluded from income must not be more than the total adjusted basis of depreciable real property. Qualified principal residence indebtedness is a provision that allows an individual to exclude canceled debt from income that was discharged after January 7, 2007 and before January 1, 2013. In order to qualify as principal residence indebtedness, the debt must be from acquiring, constructing, or substantially improving a principal residence. The home must also be the main home of the taxpayer. Qualified debt includes the proceeds of any home equity loan that improves the home. However, money used for other purposes beyond home improvements, such as paying off credit cards, student loans, purchasing assets, and so forth, would not be qualified. Like what you see? Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE.